test. Hey, everyone. Hello. Hi there. Terry, see you got the doc. Don't forget to hit record. So I can see Tracy talking, but I can't hear her. I don't know if that's something on my side. Uh, let me. No, it's on my side. It was on my. It was on my headphone. I was wondering why nobody was responding to me. <laughs> <laughs> I am definitely not awake yet. And, and I have a feeling when I move between my laptop and my workstation, there's various cables, and I keep getting them in the wrong order. Well, I was on a call on late on Friday and I made sure and muted my headphones and then I dropped off the meeting and, and it ends up that way. Okay. So thank you everybody for showing up on a, this is a Martin Luther King Day for uh, the United States. So it will be a, um, it will be uh, probably a, a sparse showing uh, some of the things that we need to cover. So from our last meeting, we talked about doing a, a, um, a, a, a blogathon, which we're going to move forward with. Uh, we have uh, uh, Siddharth, who doesn't look like he's here today, working on uh, badges. Uh, we're trying to figure out how to do a reward system, but we will kick off the blogathon um, at the beginning of uh, of. February. Um, and I was hoping I could get some feedback from this group of what kinds of blogs do we think we should do? What what should be the reward system? So my initial thought was to do um, a blog, any blog over 500 words, uh, any blog over 300 words with a video or, or at 300 words, because 300 is kind of the minim minimum for doing SEO. Um, 300 with a video or anything over 500 and do it specifically around tips and tricks for Ortilius because we're trying to make uh, sure that people have the information that they need to get on boarded. Uh, we can also do other ones though, that, uh, certainly, and we can also do other kind of competitions. Uh, for example, we can say by the end of March, how, who has the most uh, shared or who has the most views on their blog. Um, so just any ideas on how we can make this a, a more engaging experience? So I would say that the, um, uh, I like the idea of doing a pure, uh, just a, you know, text version and then, uh, doing the mix between a video and, uh, the, the blog itself. Um, I think some of the topics that we'll uh, need to talk about are going to be, um, you know, like you said, tips and tricks. And I think tips and tricks uh, should be able to include uh, tips and tricks around, you know, if you want to contribute as well. I would not exclude if somebody had like a, a trick around um, or a good tip around dealing with like, uh, merging inside of Visual Studio or something like that. Um, you know, that would be a, a, a good trip, a trick with a, a video uh, that would go along with it. So something like that um, is where I think uh, we should look at. Um, I did put, I am in the process of putting together the, um, the GSOC um, project ideas. So we can um, expand the blogs around those top topics as well. You know, integrations into um, Spinnaker or uh, Argo. Um, those could be other integration. Integrations would be another uh, topic. Okay, so um, Ortilius. Um, I know it's hard to type when everybody's staring at you. 
I'm not thinking about that. I'm just not awake. How to's and um, onboarding. I mean, like, uh, just for um, like an example, a, bl a block topic. It really isn't or essentially around Ortelius, but it will come into play around it and um, it'll give us something to build upon. Like um, the reason why we chose to go like with a Hugo ser server for the website, you know, what are the benefits of use going that route versus like a WordPress? Um, you know, the whole idea of being able to have multiple contributors check, you know, make changes, uh, check things in, uh, and then there's an automated, uh, automated process that carries it all the way through to rolling it out to uh, production, you know, using Ortilius itself. Okay. Okay. So if anybody has a lack of, of topics, I, I, I can, <laughs> you know. Is everybody and, okay with 500 words for a regular one and 300 words for a um, one with a video? Yeah, what's a, what's a 501 uh, word one look like? Do we have... Um... Uh, most of ours out there are around 800 words. So 500 words is a bit short, but it's, um, uh, it's long enough. Uh, and me, with most blogs, I think you should try to get them to where they're, you can read them all within like three minutes, something like that. Three to four minute reads. Yeah, and the um, um, the videos should be relatively short as well. I think uh, you know under under a ten minute video. Yeah, uh, a five minute video would be great. Yeah, that would be even a, a better. Okay. And. Um, and I would just I would just stress on these uh, blogs that you don't they don't have to be solo blogs. If a couple people want to team up on on doing a topic, um, I think that would be even more beneficial to uh, to sh have a couple people collaborate around a topic. Okay. So what I'd like to be able to do with these topics, so we have, and I'm going to put in the, um, there is, so what we're going to have probably maybe five or six, I'm assuming, four to six uh, speaking opportunities for Artilius at CDCon. I think the uh, date for uh, submitting your CFP is in March, early March. So what I was hoping we could do is take some of the blogs that we all felt were really great blogs and turn them into presentations. Uh, that's an excellent idea. I think it does help lay the groundwork for a presentation. It kind of gives you the your your general, you know, what each slide's going to be when you start when you get it written down in the blog. Yeah. So that's why I'm saying that we might want to just, you know, I think we could put it any topic around the um, around the general space, blogs around the general space of configuration management, um, how we're fitting into a GitOps uh, scenario. Um, and there's uh, there's one that just came. I just picked it up in uh, Sam. Uh, put it in the Discord channel uh, that there's today's the last day for call for papers for IstioCon. Oh, wow. Um, and let me. I don't want everybody has to use this con thing. It's like. I know. It could be. Festival it could be so many other things. I'm sure it'll fade out of fashion in the next few years, and we'll have a new. Oh, term God, I hope yeah. so. <laughs> it's painful. It's just, it's just weird. 
It's it's so unimaginative on, yeah. on what. <laughs> Just to um, check out a quick thing, it might be worthwhile creating a text channel within the Discord for blog feedback. We're talking about people being able to co collaborate. So if someone's got an idea, they've written up a draft, being able to chuck that in there to get some additional feedback on it from folk. GitHub issues can work for it, but you can use. I tend to see more engagement when it's more of a free flowing chat area. Yeah, we do have. Um, I guess the. I thought we had a channel out there. The closest channel we have out there is the Contribex one. Um, but yeah, we can um, stand one up. That's not a big deal. Oh, you know what I'm thinking? There's a GitHub repo that we have that's called Outreach um, that we're holding resources for um, like the web page, you know, the logo and things like that. So yeah, we'll stand up one on the um, Discord side. So on the blogathon, and generally blogathons, everybody's a winner. But should we have some kind of competition in that blogathon? I uh, I I would say so. I think we could. Um, I think twofold. Yes. Go ahead. Uh, for example, uh, blog which uh, I'm just making a wild guesses, but there could be other thoughts also. Blog which got maximum hits, yeah, maximum views. Yeah, we could, or, you know, we could run it through. Or we've got maximum comments. Yep. Okay. I hope we can track the hits which has come to a blog or views which has come to a blog. Uh, that is important question. I know we can in WordPress. Um, we'll have to see on the timing of our migration over to uh, the Hugo server. I'm guessing we'll still be on WordPress uh, for, for a little bit. Um, so uh, on the WordPress side, we can see views. The Hugo side, we would need to hook it into something like Google Analytics or another analytics platform, but it's pretty trivial to do. Yeah, yep. Yeah. That's what I figured. So um, everybody think about what blog and everybody, if you know, we really need to have a good showing at CDCon for talks. So I, I want to really curate some interesting talks to present there. So think about what kind of talks you might feel would be, um, would be appropriate, uh, you know, and most of them should be specific to, this is our, our chance to really let Ortelius shine. So they, if, it should be specific to Ortelius and the Ortelius platform. So doing a, a talk on integrating Artilius to Spinnaker, you know, we, we have till June to get that done. I think that would be a really very, it would be a very interesting talk. Uh, integrating um, Ortilius to uh, Argo, another interesting talk. Um, I think the application sets, the discussion we just started on Friday, uh, that is a very, uh, would be a, a good talk. Um, general um, configuration and setup of Artilius would be one that we, we would want to do. Uh, so, you know, think about what you, um, ideas, um, and those of you who have been on Jenkins projects before, what kind of, uh, what kind of talks were popular with Jenkins, uh, so that we can serve the audience as best as we can. And even, even talks around, you know, um like Owen with all of the, your microservices and how they're just the thought process and some of the troubles that you know you're trying to head off and I think Sasha's in the same boat uh, with his organization you know what what are you trying to tackle and get your arms around and how Ortelius can fit into solving that that problem yeah so that, that's a, a chat I need to have with my head of software to find out how publicly I'm allowed to talk about the architecture. I think it's fine. I think it's basically my decision, but it's one of those things where I just want to make sure as I'm not quite out of probation yet. Um, but I am, the conversation around application sets and the specific issues which we have at IGS is something I'm hoping to actually write up the architecture of and show where those problems are. Um, and if I can hook that into Ortelius, so that would be great. But I need to have a chat with him at the end of the week to find out just quite how public I can be about some of it. Yeah, and if you want to 
um, we've, we've run into this all the time with uh, when you get into legal <laughs> and, you know, you just sit there and go, this large software firm in such and such country yeah. is doing this. And you just kind of leave it at, leave it really vague. <laughs> yeah, I, I, it's, it's interesting because it's a startup. No one's really crossed this bridge in the organization before. So I'm hoping I've got an opportunity to set the tone for the oh, company going forward. But I'll need to see how that works out. Well, do you do you guys have have you written any open source uh, portions of your? Uh, we have yet? something we're looking to make open source soon, um, which is a OPC UA simulator. But we're in chats with the actual hardware provider to check that we haven't breached any NDA components. First of all, it's fully written in house, but it's based on some of their spec and hardware companies can get a little bit funny at times. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping to actually oversee publishing, making that open source over the next year, but we'll need to see what happens. Right. And uh, for any of you having that conversation with an employer, uh, the CD Foundation is really pushing for uh, end user to build their end user community. Uh, so and a, a lot of companies are trying to follow the Capital One model where they're really being they're really pushing themselves out there as being a, as much a technology company as they are a banking company. Um, so think about that possibility. If you know you have that conversation, Owen, you might bring it up. Yeah, and, a, and as I say to anyone else, if um, there are there's some, a lot of collateral which is coming going to be coming out of the end user accounts in the next month or two, um, if anyone has any interest in that, drop me a message as I'm part of that group. So yeah, we've got a lot of collateral around Dora metrics, but also around these kind of conversations. So if there's anything there I can push or share, let me know, and I'll do what I can. Cool. Um, so on that, um, Owen, you want to give us an update on the work you've done on the website? Absolutely. Yeah. Um, happy to give me a second. So uh, I'll actually share if I can, as it might be easier. It's been a while since I've been in Zoom. Give me a second. Well, at least the Zoom on a PC instead of your phone. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> True. Okay. A whole different ball game. <laughs> Um, so I'll quickly show where it's at, and then I'll talk a little bit about the structure of it and what needs to be done. Um, so I've been looking to move the current WordPress website over to uh, a Hugo-based uh, static site generator. The idea being that will allow for easier collaboration on various components of the page, so particularly around blog posts, very easy to open a pull request, generate a preview, view on it, uh, get feedback on that, and then see that through to the, the final uh, stage. At the moment, um, the most of the content which is already there has been moved across to this. There's three pages missing, which are the, remember correctly, the What Autelius Does pages on the homepage, which I still need to port over. Um, most of the media content has been moved across, so the MP4 and the images are now part of this as well. Um, the missing bits are a couple of bits around the layout in particular. So as you can see, this section is primarily a placeholder uh, the section under guidelines is still very much just text at the moment and needs a little bit of styling applied. Uh, but if we look at become a contributor, I've been trying to match this as much as I can to the existing site layout right now. There's a couple of small changes. If we want to review the layout later down the line, I think it's easier to start with something which is similar as opposed to take it all on at once. Um, so Owen, the, on that, don't yeah. be afraid to modify the way that the website looks. There was not a lot of thought put into this website. It was put together pretty darn fast, like within a day. So I, I, Yeah, so for, for me, I'm not really a great UI person, so I figured eh, it looks good enough. If I run into anything which is going to be difficult to move across, I'll just move it as is. Um, okay. The biggest bit which we need a bit of thought about the layout is going to be the blog. The default doxy blog layout is relatively simplistic. Um, it's functional but it is relatively simplistic. Uh, you know, I like the way it looks, to be quite honest. I think it's clean. Great. That makes it even easier, Ben. Um, so yeah, then the last couple of bits said, a couple of bits on the layouts I'm looking to do, and then it will be uh, getting the deployment working against uh, Kubernetes as opposed to the current place wrong where I've got, which is using Netlify. It's not a big deal to get working though. I'm not overly worried about that. It's a fairly standard container and a chart for pushing it. It will just be how we do the PR environments. Um, but yeah, so it, it's contents moved, layouts are almost there, a little bit to do on deployment um, and figuring out how we're going to migrate the traffic across to it, but it, it's almost there. So yeah, anytime, uh, you're, anytime you're ready, if you um, want to uh, 
work with Steve to bring it over somewhere where I can start helping as well. Yep, you absolutely. might have to do a little bit of educating, but I'm a pretty quick learner. No problem. And in, in the thought process on the pushing it over to Kubernetes, um, the user guide are, is already over in Kubernetes, and we'll bring this across. And the user guide is, um, and the contributor guide are both under uh, Hugo Doxy as well. So the thought process is to bring this over um, as a container, uh, push it over into our Azure cluster through Ortelius, um, or to plug have one or the other. Um, and uh, Istio is set up over on that side, and we'll be able to route uh, to a dev uh, website so you can preview uh, what a live website looks like. And when you're happy with it, we'll go ahead and um, push it over to the prod one um, as part of that. And that'll just be, um, oh, and you and I will have to figure out the GitHub, you know, tagging so you can have, you know, the look good, looks good to me. And then once you do that, then it goes to the next stage automatically um, as part of that uh, process. But that's going to be pretty easy since we already have uh, it up and running for the the doc side. Yeah, so it, it will be a very similar process. Um, the other side, so most of I've done what I can to keep the content as the actual blog, uh, the sorry, the website content as marked down as possible. So we've got a couple of custom short codes and stylings in there, but I'm expanding the README to document what are the website specific functions which have been added so that should hopefully make it fairly easy for anyone coming to it to get up to speed as well with uh, the slight bespoke bits we've got there yeah it looks awesome thank you so much for working yeah on it's, that. it's i'm so excited to have something that we can actually all contribute to it's been a really nice break from uh, dealing with c plus plus actually it's been very <laughs> refreshing <laughs> well well, we're glad that we were here for you then <laughs> to take on a different yeah. project. Um, and I guess I should really find out from the CD Foundation if there's a place we can host it, right? Not yet. We'll, um, I'll, I'll deal with the CD Foundation and um, moving our cluster over into them. Right now we're running under, uh, so Deploy Hub got like $30,000 worth of Azure credits um, that were good for a year. Um, and I believe that expires in June. So when we get closer to June, I'll start talking with the CDF to move that cluster over to probably end up under Google since they run everything on the CDF is run, runs most everything under Google. And um, Owen, I, do we need to get it put into a more permanent place before you work on um, the, the build part? Yeah, so I'll finish up the layout section on the uh, temporary repo I've created, and then I'll, I'll speak with Steve about just creating a repo with, or I'm assuming it will be Steve, creating a repo under the Ortelius um, GitHub account, and I'll just push the content to there, and then okay. we can get the, the build set done. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll take care of that. It's not a big deal. Um, just to let you know, I did create that blogathon uh, channel uh, in um, Discord. Okay. Uh, I think the last thing we have to report on is GSOC. We did submit um, through the CDF uh, our interest in participating. Um, Sasha, Krom, Nitu, and Steve have all stepped up to be mentors. If anybody else is interested in mentoring, let us know. Um, and the three projects will be the integration to Spinnaker, the integration to Argo, and the um, visualization. The visualization. Um, so, in terms of you know what, if we do a talk, you know, there's a timing issue because this doesn't start until June, and uh, we are already at CDCon by June. So, if somebody wants to do a talk on the integration to Spinnaker or the integration to Argo. My suggestion is we would go ahead and get um, somewhat of a skeleton put together so those integrations are working. And then we can bring the, um, the, um, the mentee on to uh, clean it up and add any additional reporting features and whatnot that we need around it. So if anybody wants to you know, take on that as a, as a blog and a talk at CDCon, and we would probably ask you to be the mentor as well for that. 
which kind of makes sense. And Natch is a Natch. You want to introduce yourself? He is a, a newcomer to open source. He has just finished uh, school himself. I'm seeing if he can get be, be part of the uh, be part of the GSOC, but he doesn't know if he can. Uh, Natch, you want to? Yeah. Hi. Can everyone hear me? Yes, we can. Yeah. yeah so, hi. So as Tracy introduced me, so I'm just graduated from from. Um, graduate school and I'm looking for uh, I'm looking to learn and looking to contribute to the open source community so that's um, that's my goal here uh, yeah <laughs> that's just finished the uh, New Jersey Institute of Tech program nice isn't that correct yeah that's correct okay I, was gonna say, <laughs> I hope it wasn't somebody else who did that um, and did you get a, a, a bachelor's or a, a master's Masters, yeah. yeah. And and are you where are you currently living in the states? Yeah, I am. I'm living in New Jersey right now. So welcome, and we're excited to have you on as a, a new open source contributor. So Thank any you. of anything we've just spoken about applies to you as well. So if you want to take on any of that, um, you have mentors here already. You don't have to be part of GSOC. It would be great if you could be though, because that you get uh, GSOC pays their um, any any of the interns who are working there. So do submit. And but on the other we, note, if you want to, I think learn... we figured out that the submission for the, on the student side happens in March. But if you want to start doing something like learning Spinnaker or learning Argo CD and you want to work on an integration, you're um, more than welcome to take that on. And you've got people who will help you. Uh, Steve Taylor, I know, will um, be able to help you with some of the core components because he's already written integrations uh, around uh, Jenkins and C Circle CI and other CD tools. So um, in, in actuality, a lot of the work is already done. It just has to be uh, set up for Argo and Spinnaker. We just got to pull a bunch of little pieces together. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank, thank you. Thank you for that. And that takes us to exactly 8.30. And as everybody knows, I try to keep these to exactly 30 minutes if we can. Um, is there anything else that I should cover? I think we covered a lot. We did the, we got the website moving forward, which I'm super excited about. We have the blogathon, I think a format for it. Um, we have GSOC sorted out. So those are all three big, three big rocks that we're trying to achieve. And I think all of them contribute to our um, overall goal of increasing adoption. And I'll start pushing out some of the website uh, that I'm pages that I'm building. And I don't know if I should wait. Should I wait, Owen, and not do anything until how how long do you think it's going to take us to move it all over? I hate to create but, new content for the no, existing okay. website. Okay. Um, feel free to create new content. I can migrate it across pretty easily. Okay. Um, so that's why I've done all the existing stuff. And I would give an estimate as I found out before Christmas. My uh, estimate was wildly off. So um, I'm hoping it will take a week or two. Okay. but I can't guarantee it. So create okay. content, let me know, and I'll move it across. Okay, so I'll, I'm going to create a GSOC page and I'll create a, a, um, a blogathon page, but I think what I'm going to do is keep them under the, um, I'm going to create blogs for those instead of new pages. Cool, sounds good. And I'll just have the event page point to the blog. Okay, well, everybody, thank you for your Monday morning or Monday afternoon or Monday evening, wherever you might be. <laughs> and we yeah. have the architecture meeting on Thursday at the same time. And Steve will be uh, working on summing up the uh, requirements document that we heard from Argo and Spinnaker. Uh, and so we should start really putting our head around that. Yeah, so that will be, um, we'll go over that and make sure I didn't miss anything um, from that conversation we had with those folks. Um, so I'll try to get that out earlier than later um, so you can review it. And I'll post the uh, recording to it. Um, uh, we'll get posted out there as well under the architecture uh, community doc. And oh, and I did just create a website uh, repo. I'll look to get stuff across to them in the next couple of days. Yeah. 
I'll get you added into it. I, I, it takes me a little bit to add in the security, but you'll you'll be able to get into it um, directly. Awesome. Thanks. Okay. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody. Bye-bye. Thanks, guys. Cheers. Cheers.